Hey, what's going on everybody? John here with ECP Outdoors. And uh, this is a new segment that I wanted to start for this channel called the Camping Gadget Outdoor Review. Probably more like Camping Gadget Review. I think outdoor is too much, but uh, it's gonna be something like that. This is the first episode. And I wanted to show this little device off here because uh, it's not new. These have been around for a while. This is an electrical uh, arc lighter. So it's an electric lighter, uh, again, not a new concept. These have been around for quite a while, but uh, I recently stocked them in the store. We bought like a case of them to try them out. And I do think it has a purpose and I do think it is something that you might want to consider keeping on you or, or putting in your um, survival bag, your camping bag, along with probably a regular lighter too. So anyway, let's pop it open so you can see how this thing works. So it's in a water tight case here. We're going to open that up and you can see there's like two little prongs right there and you have your your button here on this side. I've already charged this one up so it's ready to go. It does take a couple hours to get a full charge, but if I press it, eh, you probably hear it, you probably can't see it unfortunately. It's a little bright outside. But between these two points, there we go, you can kind of see a spark there. Between those two points is actually causing an arc. And if you put some tinder or something there in the middle, you're gonna be able to catch a flame and start a fire. So a couple big pros to this, uh, it is windproof. So even if it was super windy, which it isn't right now, it's, it's incredibly hot, but if it was windy, this would still work. If this got submerged in water, uh, it would still work. So that's kind of a cool concept as well. So those two things alone make it worth keeping with you or putting in your bag at the very least. Um, probably want to have a regular lighter as well, but with something like this, it's going to at least, um, you know, have some extra pros that a standard lighter wouldn't have, like being windproof, for example. So in the ad on the box, it actually shows them cutting this paracord off and using this to start a fire. So I'm gonna do that real quick. I have my little solo stove all set up. We're gonna to cut to that and I will show you how it works. I've got my solo stove packed here and I cut off a nice slice of paracord. So I've actually, uh, I did try it a little bit to see how it would light. I didn't try to transfer it over yet or anything, but uh, you can see if you don't pull any of the threads out like I did here, this was a big old melted mess because this nylon has uh, got some plastic in it. So what ends up happening is you end up getting um, you end up getting some of that plastic on the points of contact there, and it'll end up making it where it's not going to arc and you're not going to get a flame. So ideally, you want to get it you know a thread here that's kind of small. I left it then attached because I want to make sure it gets real hot and flamed up and then I'm going to try to transfer it over and we'll see how that plays out. So um, I'm going to try to do this all one-handed. So before I do that, let me see if I'm in frame. Here we go and let's start it. And you see we caught fire there and let's see if we could pick that up. Okay. Let's see, let's make sure it's still catching here. Oh, we might have smothered it out. Yeah, we definitely did. All right, hold on, take two. All right, attempt number two. Let's go ahead and try to line that guy back up. Ready? Ooh, super hard to do one-handed here. I don't think I'm getting anywhere. We're struggling. All right, so these orange ones are not lighting it. All right, we're giving up on the paracord. We're gonna go right for the good stuff here, hold on. All right, so I'm calling the paracord a bit of a fail. I mean, if that was the last two things I had was this and this paracord, I think we would make it work eventually. But I mean, it's just kind of turning into a plasticky melted goo. So what I did, I went and got some dryer lint. So this should do the trick. So here we go. Let's see, we're framed up here. All right, we got fire. Let's see if we get it to kind of catch here a little bit. Let's go ahead and drop that in, get a little bit more going on in there. 
mean, you know, like I said, is it gonna replace your standard lighter? No, but should you have it? Maybe, it's debatable. I mean, I think it's cool. It's honestly a really cool concept. If you had like some sort of solar charger with you, you know that you don't need any fuel. You can just let it charge and you're gonna have plenty of uh, ignition there. I mean, we did eventually get it going. We're already kind of smoking out here a little bit. Uh, let's just throw a little bit more in there. But it did eventually work. It might be worth considering. They're fairly cheap. I mean, we had it probably a little bit higher than what most of the market has it out there for. I'll leave some links if you want to check it out. So uh, again, hope this helped. Hope there was a little bit of review, some knowledge that you got out of it. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, guys. See you.